Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back for another Dev Pro Dual video cross format tool again. Um, the first tech list you see here is one of the, I think one of the most nostalgic decks we've ever had in a game. It's Perfect Circle. Uh, this is Jonathan LeBounty's deck list. Uh, his winning Shonen Jump deck list. I think from 2007, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Perfect Circle, uh, very clear, you had a Stratos, you had a Disc Commander, double Destiny Draw, I think Destiny Draw was a 2 at that moment, double Pot of Everest, and yeah, the, the basic or at least priority of the deck was of course to set up your Disc Commander, but uh, most importantly, uh, to um, block your opponent, to uh, of course, yeah, make the Ryza lock with your 3 Ryza, and also Wing Blast of course. Uh, it was a uh, very. Uh, it, it it was one of the new cards. John Little Bounty piloted this uh, at the Shonen Jump back then. Uh, yeah, again, pretty much locking your opponents, locking your opponents' draw face with Ryza and Wing Blast. Also the Crush card, very nice. Uh, you also had the Call of the Hunt and Premature Burial to bring back your Disc Commander. Uh, double Malicious, Malicious. What that way? Yeah, was it too? Uh, heavy Storm also. Oh, something very important is that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro made the update on the new uh, Errata rulings of the. Band card, so Crush Card Virus has his, uh, has yeah, has its uh, eroded rule that uh, of course all monsters with uh, 1500 attack or more are destroyed from the opponent, but the opponent also gets the, op yeah, the opportunity to send uh, three um, monsters from their deck to the grave, which are uh, above or at least yeah, their attack needs to be above 1500, uh, and that's yeah, something I just discovered during the duels, as you will see. Um, the second necklist, very familiar, it's the same necklist uh, as I used in the last video. Um, Hieratics uh, with uh, Maju Guard set, Shin Maju Guard set in the main neck, which makes your uh, Dark Matter combo uh, a two card combo instead of a three card combo with your regular Hieratics. Um, yeah, I think the deck needs no explanation. Dark Matter is very stupid, uh, almost a broken card. I think we can say it's, it's, it's definitely overpowered, although broken. Uh, it's it's definitely uh, up there. Um, anyway, let's see some duels. Okay, so the first game, I'll be the one playing with the perfect circle. Uh, it's something refreshing, <laughs> instead of playing with the Hieratics. I get to start some normal summon Stratos. Ah, the Stratos. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to make a comeback when we get the hero structure deck. Uh, so set the Torrential, set the Wing Blast. I wait with Torrential, I think it was better to use my Wing Blast. Set up the Disc Commander because of the Fearmonger in hand. Uh, if you don't know what Fearmonger does, when it's a Strava Battle, I can special summon a Disc Commander, or at least, yeah, a Destiny Hero during my own standby phase. And Torrential. Um, pretty much yeah, clears the whole field <laughs> here. Spirit Reaper. Uh, so Spirit Reaper active uh, at least yeah, it takes directly. So my opponent needs to discard one card at random. Uh, very nice. I know it's very risky. Uh, again, because of the two cards uh, combo of Heretics, Definitely Sue can already put a lot of damage on board. But uh, I think yeah, the Spirit Reaper and the continuously poking, uh, discarding yeah, that the opponent needs to discard one card is much more important. Uh, so I think I need to do uh, that. I need to take the risk, right? Uh, this is very bad. The top decks into the, the what's it called? The the Kebab, the 1800 deck one. So we can special summon the level eight one from his deck. And there is a Dark Matter, not good. With full armor, he's able to blow up the Reaper. And yeah, there is Dark Matter. And this is not good. He can set up his grave for next turn. If I don't end the game now, it's game over. And this commander special summoned, I get to draw two cards and. Boom! That top deck brain control uh, takes control of the Dark Matter, pay 800 life points, and then can nicely steal the game here. Uh, very sweet. But uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's very rare that I win a duel against um, Heretic, uh, Heretic Ruler with Dark Matter. It's obviously because of the power creep. The deck is much, much better. Then uh, well, it also has much more power compared to Perfect Circle. Uh, my hand, uh, scapegoats. I know uh, scapegoats. I know he's playing, of course, the, the Maju Garza, the one attacks over defense. Then again, he needs to have it uh, to to punish me uh, for me having the tokens. But I was thinking, okay, I'm probably safe. But uh, yeah, obviously I'm not. Two. <laughs> yeah, sorry, ridiculous. Two Dark Matter. And of course, there is the Majogar set. So I think it has over 16,000 attack. And as I said uh, earlier, it can attack over defense, so very cheap that Konami decided to give that uh, yeah, that Shin Majogar set the possibility to attack over defense as well. Uh, so it's, it's very easy to ODK. It's unbelievable. Anyway, I start off with Stratos Wing Blast. This is a very decent hand at the time with the Disc Commander, the Malicious Snipe Hunter to discard the Malicious for 
example, to pop a card. But uh, yeah, we are playing against Cybernetic Rulers with Dark Matter. And Night Beam clears the back row so we can nicely go for Dark Matter. Also, uh, Dark Matter is a cost, so something like uh, Effect Failure or Breakthrough Skill does not work. Uh, at least, yeah, they can send their th yeah, three dragons to the grave. Um, <laughs> that's also something uh, Konami decided to be gimmicky about. Uh, he only sets two, uh, so I attack with Sengen. He MSTs in the end phase, he misses the Crush card, uh, so I immediately decide to go for Crush card, uh, not risking the Night Beam right. Um, but here is the moment I saw that uh, Yu Gi Oh Pro this, uh, upgraded their uh, uh, rulings about the new banned cards, uh, so also Crush card, and uh, that's, something, that's something I didn't know about so he's able to send the eclipse from his deck to the grave and also two, dra <laughs> two dragon rulers so instead of crippling him with the crush card i pretty much let him set up right uh, so even crush card uh, one of the best cards during its time yeah isn't really that well uh, yet yeah, to create against the deck and then yeah here is the otk again nothing i can do about that uh, last tool i think he gets to uh, start yeah the sixth card um, and again yeah <laughs> he's pretty much set up for next turn uh, I have to set the wing blast set of fearmonger because of wing blast I can set up the malicious for next turn but uh, yeah this really doesn't matter he, he can has the combo thanks to night beam he can pop my wing blast and uh, yeah again pretty much the same you know the or at least we know how the combo works a double uh, <laughs> It's just so ridiculous. Goes for Majo Garzet. It's uh, it has a gazillion attack points and it can uh, it can attack over defense. So GG well played. But yeah, as I said, because of the power creep, uh, the the, the, the ruler deck is much much more powerful compared to Perfect Circle. Uh, it's it's it, the win. The only wins I, I I could have are just the steel wins with yeah maybe brain, yeah brain control, lightning vortex, and have a big push with the monarchs or yeah something like that. But yeah, anyway, GG. Uh, guys, if you have any suggestions for these kind of cross format duels, cross format videos, you can always leave them down below. That's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me signing out. Peace.